Starfield just continues to blow me away and today I thought I'd take you guys on a little adventure to Earth. Now, not many people go to Earth in this game because at first glance it appears there's nothing there. However, if you know where to look and if you find the right things in the game, there are some remnants of humanity still there and some very interesting and cool things to see. So if I open up the galaxy map here and I'm going to zoom out a bit away from Alpha Centauri and over to Sol. That's our system. I'm going to zoom in. There's the sun. There's Mercury. There's Earth. And of course, next to Earth is the moon. As you can see, it's not blue anymore. There's no green. It's just dust, rocks and sand. There's Europe, the UK, Africa, North America. Basically, it's an absolute wasteland, but why? So without getting too spoilery, humanity develops a technology that allows them to travel faster than light, but it comes at a cost because the testing of that technology on Earth messes with the inner core and the magnetosphere of the planet, and eventually it becomes uninhabitable. And the atmosphere just collapses, and this is what we're left with. So I'm just going to pick West Coast, North America. We're going to land. So if you come in here for the first time, you can't land anyway. You just have to pick a random spot because absolutely nobody is here. I've landed in daytime though, which is cool. Got me nice and bright. We'll get off the ship. As you can see, <laughs> it's just dead. There is nothing here. It's an absolute wasteland now. Look at that. No more seas. Just a bit of chlorine every now and again. It's the barren wasteland. It's dead. Kind of sad, really, that this is what happens to Earth. However, as I mentioned at the start, there are things still here. And we're going to go find them. I'm not going to show you all of them because I don't want to spoil everything if you're playing the game for yourself. I'm going to show you a few of them. There are some landmarks remaining here. And to find them, we have to read certain books and when we read the books that will give us the exact coordinates of things on earth and then we can go to them there's also something to collect as well now some of these books you can only get on certain quest lines because they're in specific locations that you can only get to when you're doing a quest but i have seen some people say that they can spawn in multiple different points of the game so you might be able to find them elsewhere but i'm just going to show you the most common locations for them. So first things first, we're going to head to the Chayen system and we're going to go to Aquila City. That's the Western cowboy type city when you do the first couple missions with Sam. There it is, very welcoming sign there. Reminds me of Fallout New Vegas every single time this place does. And this is what we're looking for, Sinclair's books. We're going to head in here. I don't know why they're so touchy about Can digital books, but we're going to speak to the merchant purchase? here. Yes. See what's for sale. And there's two books that we want from here. The first one is Oliver Twist. So buy that. And the second one is The Ancient Civilization of Egypt. Buy that one as well. And then we're just going to back out. Now, if we click on the books, they just give you a little synopsis, bit of information about what the book is. Same for the ancient civilization of Egypt, just some information about Egypt. And then if we go back to Seoul and on Earth, we should have two new landmarks. There's the London one, there's the Cairo one. So we'll go to London first. I'm kind of excited about this. I haven't been here in game yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this actually looks like. Here we go. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's the shard. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Wow. I think it's sunrise as well, so I've come at a good time here. So this building is about 310 meters, something like that. It's just over a thousand feet, basically. It's the tallest building in the UK. And if you go to London, it stands out. You can see it from almost everywhere around the capital. It's got restaurants in it, offices apartments i think there are apartments right at the top 
kind of scary to think that in this game, under all this, is what used to be London. Now it's covered in sand and rock. Oh, you do that in real life, it looks like it's bending towards you. It doesn't work in the game. If you take a look around the landmarks, you're going to find one of these too. Every landmark has a unique snow globe. And you can collect these. This one's specific to London. New items, there it is. That's a cute little diorama of London. We've got the Shard there, London Eye, little red bus and some of the landmarks from London. It's cool. So we got that one from the book Oliver Twist set in London. And the Cairo landmark is Egypt from the Ancient History of Egypt novel. Oh, which is right there straight away. Ooh. Look at this place. Wow. Shouldn't there be three of them? Or maybe only one survived. That looks... Oh, wait, there's another one on the left. So there might be three. One over there. That one looks bigger, actually. At the side with the sun. Oh, that looks incredible. This game looks photorealistic sometimes. So nice. I think I can climb it. Yep. Use the boost pack. I don't know that much about the pyramids. I remember that it took like 27 years for them to be built. And there's all sorts of secret passageways and systems inside them. Right on the top. Yeah, that one's definitely bigger. Should I go over there? I feel like this one is the Great Pyramid. The biggest one. That is huge. Oh, did I just spot the thing there? I think that's the snow globe. Yeah, it is. Have a look at this one. I love that you get XP from it. Here it is. Oh, they got camels. <laughs> there's loads of pyramids there. I'm sure there's got to be more than three pyramids. I think those three are the most iconic ones though, right? One of the seven wonders of the world. Whew. That is huge. It's so cool. Okay. On to the next landmark. Right. So we need another boat. And I've come to the mast building in New Atlantis. We're going to go in the elevator. And we're going to choose the central command office of the president. Because we need to go in there. <laughs> and hopefully she's not there. Because if she is, I don't think she's here. Oh no, she is. Damn. Hello. United colonies only succeed right, we need to steal this book. Like I don't think she's going to mind, is she? Oh. Our lost heritage, that's it. That's mine. No! Give it back. Okay, you can have don't it back. Try that again. Are we cool? Yeah? Okay, that's fine. So, if we go back to Earth, that should have revealed a landmark in New York. There it is. Before we go there, though, we're going to go to the Valo system and see if we can nick this other book, too. This is Planet Polvo. I've never even been here before. Looks nice. Nice weather. Let's do it. Oh, there's a ship taking off. Big old factory there. Hope Tech. I've not got this far in the game, so I don't really know what this is. I'm cool with it. Whatever. Hello. Don't mind me, officer. I'm just here to... Steal a book so I can go and look at stuff on Earth. I need to find the factory. Sales. That's nothing. Back here, maybe? Might be through here. This looks a bit factory. There it is. So I've got to go to the boss's office and steal the book. I think you can get this one without stealing it. Is that it? No, that's not it. But you've got to do a load of quests to get there. Ain't nobody got time for that. I think that's it. Hmm, it's open. There's the book there. I'm going to sneak in. Are they going to see me? I don't even know if that's the right guy. I think it is because the book's there. Have I been detected? No. Yeah, that's Ron Hope. Cassette. This is fine, isn't it? Oh, she's looking at me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> gonna take this oak family tree earth los angeles pacific ocean yeah that's it 
The owner caught you stealing. Oi, lady. <laughs> no. Get away from me. It's just a book. Wait, you can't do this, can you? <laughs> Didn't think about that, did you? You ain't got no jetpack. I do. Alright, we'll do New York first. I wanted to do both of those together because they're both North American landmarks and they're pretty cool. Wow, there it is. Empire State Building. Sheesh. Oh, that looks good. Even though it's completely busted and covered in sand, but yeah, there it is. Well, I've never been to New York. I do want to go someday. Ideally at Christmas. I mean, I know a little bit about the Empire State Building. It was built early 1930s. It's almost like 1,500 feet tall, something like that. Midtown Manhattan. Look at the detail here. Beautiful on the ships out there. All the rubble. Different layers. Something a bit creepy about it. Oh, it's got those red steel girders. I'm sure I've seen photos of the construction workers on those. So cool. Imagine how high you would be if you were here in real life right now. Kind of wish you could go in it. A little tip for you. If you're coming to these locations, open your scanner and you'll find the snow globes a bit easier because they're highlighted on that corner. Not the easiest thing to find, to be honest. That actually leveled me up. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Look. At the Manhattan Bridge there. Some more of the iconic towers too. That's sweet. Okay, now we're going to head over to the West Coast landmark in North America. In Los Angeles. Any guesses as to what it's going to be? We made touchdown. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> wow. It's the US Bank Tower. This one is just over a thousand feet tall. Downtown Los Angeles. I've been in that building. I've actually been right to the top of it. See that little circle bit at the top there? So it was E3 2013, I want to say. Ubisoft actually had a capture event up there during E3. So I was playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag, uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist, Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. And they also had like crew stuff and watchdog stuff there. Awesome views of LA from the top of that building. Definitely one of the most recognizable buildings in LA, I think. I mean, if you're a gamer, you probably know it from GTA, right? I'm going right up to the windows here. Oh, there's the snow globe. Well, that was the easiest one to find. I'll cry right in the windows. Hello. Nobody there. So I presume that they do a lot of banking in there. And I'm pretty sure there's a helipad on the top as well. I don't know that much about it. I guess it's mostly office workers and then they have events sometimes. Let's have a look at the snow globe. There it is. And it's downtown LA. That's it. Now, sadly, all buried. And the only thing that remains is the bank tower. The money stood the test of time. So there's one more location I want to show you. And it's up there on the moon. It's a bit blurry. Too far away. But you can see it there. And we've got to go back to New Atlantis for this. Hi, guys. Remember me? This is all Last time I was here, this room was full of watermelons and sure potatoes. <laughs> so, past the skull, down the corridor, and I think it's this one, someone's bedroom. You can take this book, it's fine. It's a Livingston Second Journal, and this is about the moon. And we're going to see something super cool on the moon. I've scanned it, it's not made of cheese. Wallace and Gromit said it's made of cheese, it's not. I'm going to land here, and if I don't find cheese, I'm going to be disappointed. <sighs> no cheese, but it's the landing site of Apollo 11. Bit of history here. Is a ship coming? Who's that? Pirates. Go away. So I believe that's called the Lunar Module Eagle. He's took the flagging over here. 
the old stars and stripes. I wonder if the flag is accurate. Like the position of it. Snow globe's there. Ooh. Another fine snow globe for my collection. That's Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. They were the two that walked on the moon on that mission. There was another one, Michael Collins, but he stayed in the command module. That's what the gravity is like on the moon. How accurate is that, Bethesda? How accurate is this? Have you nailed it? Well, there's some satellites here. A couple of structures, what's that? Interesting. Yeah, there we go. Apollo 11. Landing site. In Starfield. Pretty awesome. It's a hell of a view. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. As I mentioned, there are many other landmarks that you can find on Earth. Some of them, as you play through the game, you'll find them naturally. One of the coolest ones is probably the NASA station in Florida. But that's a whole mission. And that will give you the coordinates of the Mars rover. On Mars, of course, if you want to see that. With that said, I'm off into the night. I don't know where my adventures are going to take me next, but I'm sure you'll see me again on Starfield soon. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you being here. Drop a like. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.